Today's industrial and consumer technology is not just about innovation. It's about innovation that's smarter, faster, and smaller. That's why both student and industrial researchers have come to rely on UCI's INRF and Bion cleanroom facilities. INRF and the Bion was created in 1998 with the goal to serve academic community as well as industry community. INRF is a world-class cleanroom devoted to micro and nano research and development. The facility's holistic approach provides clients with system-level design at the fabrication level. The integration of non-semiconductor technologies with micro and nano fabrication techniques, providing technology integration at the manufacturing level, and implementation of multifunction systems in the field for optimal end-user application integration. The facility features over 9,600 square feet of class 10,000, 1,000, and 100 cleanroom space. For clients, this holistic approach provides an ideal environment for conducting research, prototyping, and even small-scale manufacturing. RF Nano is a startup engaged in the development of radio frequency transistors on carbon nanotubes. Two specific tools that we use are the Atomic Layer Deposition Tool, ALD, and the first nano carbon nanotube synthesis tool. The ALD tool uses uh, pulses of very specific gases to form very thin layers, very controllable layers of high K dielectric. In this case, hafnium oxide or aluminum oxide. First nano furnace utilizes hydrocarbons at elevated temperature to create nanotubes. These nanotubes are extremely thin tubes of carbon in the order of 17 angstroms diameter. My students began growing carbon nanotubes in the INRF cleanroom about 10 years ago. These are tiny wires that are a few atoms across. Using the tools in the INRF with the staff assistance, they were able to develop the ideas from essentially a prototype to a commercialization viable technology, which has since matured. We have a project now based on this work where we're looking at the ability of these tiny wires and other classes of wires made of aluminum or silicon or all kinds of metals and semiconductors and we're looking at their ability to carry light down them and to propagate electric signals. We're also looking at their ability to focus these signals onto single molecules for chemical and biological sensing applications. This is a MURI project that involves about 10 different universities and the students in my group are working heavily in the INRF to carry out the portion of our work looking at the signal propagation on carbon nanotubes and also new kinds of materials such as graphene and other new materials that we'll be discovering in the next five years. UCI's Bion is a 4,000 square foot cleanroom facility dedicated to research and development of micro nano devices using biological and organic materials. The facility contains tools that are capable of performing micro and nano fabrication on materials such as polymers, hydrogels, collagens, proteins, and even living tissue. This unique facility enables researchers to develop new technologies and products for environmental, life science, and medical applications, including biomedical devices and biotechnology. Both INRF and Bion cleanrooms use engineering safety controls on equipment and utilities. Equipment is monitored regularly, and the facilities conform to all California regulations for safety and environmental health in a research environment. All staff and users take safety training and pass certification before using equipment to ensure the safest environment possible for all facilities users. INRF staff and faculty have unique experience in developing advanced processes and technologies for materials, micro devices, sensors, and microsystems for the biomedical, industrial, defense, and telecom sectors. This wide-ranging, comprehensive knowledge and experience base is what sets UCI's INRF and BION apart. At MF3, uh, we're working on a lot of micro nanofluid technologies and we're making a lot of things in the BION and the INRF. Uh, we've been stressing a lot of manufacturable processes these days and one of the things that we're really focusing on is hot embossing. In 
the BION and the INRF Center, we have access to uh, tools that allow us to develop these uh, advanced microchips that will allow us to use one drop of blood to carry out applications such as early detection of cancer. The access to the BION and the INRF is integral to the development of these chips and we have um, a large number of students from the MF3 Center utilizing this capability. This allows these students to be able to take what they learned in the classroom in the textbooks uh, and apply them to towards real-world applications and motivates them to change the world through microfluidics. LifeChips is a program at UC Irvine that tries to uh, promote research at the interface between engineering and life science. And in particular, we're really exploring the interface at the micro and nano scale. So we'd like to bring in semiconductor technologies, uh, nanotechnologies that are developed in engineering and combine forces with our colleagues in life science who are doing molecular biology, cell biology, and see if we can do something really interesting where those two uh, fields overlap. One of the great things about life science is that uh, biological systems actually have perfected nanotechnology. Biological systems do nanotechnology every single day. And we can learn a lot by talking with uh, life scientists and biologists about how life systems work and how nanotechnology works. On the other hand, a lot of the devices we build, we can uh, help life science and we can help biology by developing new technologies for them, microfluidics, lab on a chip, uh, nano systems, nano uh, devices that can help uh, biological research uh, perform better and more efficiently. And even develop devices intended for medical applications. By miniaturizing systems we can get diagnostics faster and in smaller uh, form factors and we can develop tools for studying cancer that, that don't exist today. So uh, there's a lot of great potential by bringing these two uh, sectors of campus together. Our laboratory develops solar energy conversion and storage devices like solar cells uh, and we build these devices from zero, one and two dimensional nanoscale materials. We try to integrate in my group uh, nanoscale material synthesis as well as device fabrication, uh, characterization, modeling and optimization. Uh, the students in my group use the INRF both to build solar cells and also to build materials and, and structures that allow us to test the electronic properties of some of the thin films that we make from nanoscale materials. Uh, the INRF is really vital to the success of our research. INRF and BION enables clients to deploy affordable, portable, and disposable micro and nanoscale systems through collaboration and partnerships with UCI's Physical Sciences, College of Medicine, Biological Sciences, and the Beckman Laser Institute, as well as partnerships with UCSD. We take advantage of the facilities here at UCI INRF to add to our capabilities that we have in our own laboratory. This is an example. This is an ultra clean oxidation tube which is necessary to produce the various types of sensors, MEMS, imagers, devices that we build at DRS. We are working in the integrated nano system research facility in UC Irvine um, to, for the research in the compound semiconductor and the development in the optical electrical devices. Um, we use a lot of uh, tools and equipment here. We get a lot of advantage in working here because uh, the tool here enables us to quickly tune in our process within a small amount of uh, wafers. And uh, we can transfer the process techniques from here to any uh, industrial production line. The advantage working in here is obvious. We can quickly optimize our process within a very short period of time. RF Nano has been at the INRF now for five years, and uh, it's been a very beneficial relationship. We particularly like the relationship between the staff here and uh, ourselves. Uh, without their help, we were, really would not have been able to achieve this amount of work. The advantage of utilizing this facility is its cost effectiveness. Here we're able to prototype um, very effectively. We have all the tools that we need to do this, and what tools we don't have, we bring in, such as the ALD and the uh, first nano furnace. Uh, specifically, one of the nice things about this area is the ability to use the Kamen aligner, which gives us a 0.35 micron capability, something which is not as easily available in several of the other university facilities nearby. For critical processes requiring micro and nanoscale systems development and deployment in a fully integrated yet cost-effective environment, look no further than UCI's INRF and BION cleanroom facilities. INRF and BION providing the key technologies required 
to engineer the micro world.